Welcome back to another video. Today, I thought we'd do something a little bit different. I actually talked to a few of the different Northland guys and I asked them one question. They all had their own unique answers, but the question was, what is your go-to fall tactic? Once we get to the end of the year here, water temperatures are starting to drop, and I got answers from a number of different guys, so we're gonna start things off. We're gonna jump right in, and Brad Hawthorne is gonna give us his answer first. Okay, so fall, it's definitely colder, and you don't wear shirts like this in Minnesota. Uh, it's gonna go back to the jig. You know, whether that's jig trolling with big minnows, whether that's pitching again, which a lot of guys don't do in the fall, like everyone talks about it, but you don't see a lot of guys pitching in the fall. Fall is a great time, a great time to pitch jig. So it's kind of, everything kind of just like comes full circle with the jig. You fish it in the spring into early summer. Some guys push it to late summer with the big minnow thing. And then you, you end up back at the jig towards you know October November and if you're lucky enough to get out in December and open water but yeah it comes right back to the jig I mean who doesn't like hooking a minnow or a chunk of plastic onto a jig and especially plastics when they're going on plastics you're like you can just fish after fish you can just process catch so many fish once you get on them I've spent a bunch of time in the boat with Brad pitching jigs for walleyes and over the years the jigs that we've used have changed because Brad is always looking for a better mouse trap. He's always experimenting with things. He's always trying new baits that are coming out. But I do know that right now one of his absolute favorites is the deep V jig which is a fairly new bait and the reason why is because it's really versatile and it's just a good high quality jig. So it has a longer shank hook, it has a wide enough gap that if you want to use plastics or shiners you can definitely do that and the shape of the head is a really cool hydrodynamic V shape which works great in a lot of different situations whether you're fishing rivers with current or you're snap jigging in lakes it's just a good all-around jig that you definitely want to try but now that we got Brad's opinion on his favorite fall tactic let's hear what bro has to say in the fall I really love a jigging but one of my favorites is live bait rigging, and I like using large live bait, uh, creek chubs, or big suckers, and it's just amazing how big a minnow a walleye will eat. And a lot of times, uh, just nose hooking a sucker, you know, like a pike size sucker, not a super giant sucker, uh, a creek chub, or a big minnow of any kind, large golden shiners work. And just nose hook them, uh, using a larger hook, maybe a size four, size two, uh, a six to eight foot leader, and what I do on shallow areas, I'll use split shot. And I place little split shot on the line. They're not afraid of the split shot at all. And then the swivel will actually be above the line. And I'll use really small swivels so it'll slip between the rocks. And if a split shot gets caught in the rocks, it'll slide down or fall off. So you get less snags and then pull the minnow through and make sure that your hook is hooked in but not all the way out. And when a fish hits, let them take it. And a lot of times I'll cast these split shot rigs, I'll just make them shorter and I'll pitch rigs with big minnows. And so I'll find fish with side imaging and pitch out my rigs and just let them sit and then slowly reel them in. And be ready with that bail, flip it open when you get a fish. It's kind of hard to do, but so you're going like this. A lot of times I'll open the bail and I'll pull the line, then close the bail, reel in the slack, open up the bail, pull the line, and if a fish hits, you can let go. It's because you still have to feed them even if you're casting. It is so much fun pitching big minnows gently so you don't kill them. Clip the tail so that you can't outswim a walleye and you catch big walleyes. I'm guessing most of you watching this video right now have utilized live bait rigs for walleyes in the fall with big giant minnows. Just seems to be a great recipe for fall walleye success. Whether they're in a really good mood or they're being kind of tight-lipped and tough to catch, it's just a good tactic to get bites this time of year. But if you haven't already, you should definitely take bro's advice and try rigging up a little bit differently and casting those baits out away from the boat because that can make a huge difference especially on some bodies of water. I fish a lot of pressured water and a lot of super clear water situations and I've noticed that sometimes it can be really key to get the bait out away from the boat and if you can actually put the bait in front of them before you drive over the top of them that can be key too. So that's just something to think about next time you're on the water but now that we got bro's opinion let's see what Cody Roswick has to say. 
My all-time favorite fall walleye technique is vertical jigging. I just love the way a walleye punches a jig. Jig and minnow work so well in the fall on uh, steep breaks. Uh, if you got a current seam, I fish a lot of deep water in the fall, so vertical jigging a jig and minnow is by far one of the best techniques. I just love the way walleyes punch a jig. You feel that little tick and boom, you got a little one-on-one -on -one combat with a fish. I use a lot of super lines in the fall, especially when you're in the deep areas or in current seams. It seems like uh, those no stretch super lines definitely get the nod when I'm fishing a jig and a minnow. I think that's a great point from Cody about using super lines. What's great about super lines is the fact that they don't have any stretch. So when you're fishing really deep water in fall, you can feel the bottom a lot better. You're gonna get better hook sets. So that's just something to think about when you're jig fishing this year. But now we're gonna wrap things up with one last tactic. And this one is from Joel Nelson. I love crankbait fishing, I love trolling, but there's nothing I love better with crankbaits than throwing them. And when I think fall, I think of literally picking and choosing my windows, waiting for a big blow to happen, waiting for uh, some of those fall winds to usher in some of that first cool, crisp air. And you get a couple days of the wind blowing out of the Northwest, blowing from the same direction, and year in, year out, you're gonna have some of these same spots fire up. There are areas where there's good access to deep water, yet you've got a, a nice shallow rocky environment for fish to come up into and feed and you'll get a couple of those big blow events every fall and if you can time them correctly and get out there and get fishing uh, it's literally some of the fastest fishing for not just all sizes and all species but specifically big walleyes so uh, I wait and, and pick and choose my dates and my times and go out there and I throw big balsa baits number sevens uh, even number nines at times right up in the rocks and sometimes it's literally one or two real turns and boom you're hooked up with a fish and so uh, if you can target your times in the fall and really wait for a big blow there's nothing better than throwing balsa up against the rocks and catching big fish. Like Joel mentioned, casting balsa crankbaits can be killer this time of year. Just add a little bit of wind and it's really a good recipe for walleye fishing success this time of year. But also, I have one last tactic, my favorite fall walleye tactic before we wrap this video up, and that is drop in a big chunk of lead right in front of their face. And this right here is the puppet minnow. It's the biggest size, the one ouncer. And what I love about this particular presentation is the fact that it's really efficient. So when I'm marking fish on side imaging or just underneath the boat, I can either cast it out to them or I can drop it right on top of their heads. You give it one, two, three snaps, and if they don't bite, there's a really good chance that they're not gonna bite it. So you don't have to sit on top of these fish for a long time. You get to find out quickly if they're willing to snap this bait or not. And with how heavy it is, it really drops really quickly in the water column. So you can fish really efficiently and you can fish a bunch of different pods of fish without spending much time doing it. So that's my favorite tactic this time of year. And it's actually a tactic that I like to use all season long, but if you enjoyed this video and you got some valuable information out of it, make sure to hit that little red subscribe button down below because we have a lot more awesome videos coming in the months ahead. And I wanna thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next one.